We're getting close to the Houston city elections and we're meeting today with candidate for city controller, Bill Frazier. Bill, welcome to Texas GOP Vote. We've been covering your campaign for a little bit now and right. I think it's time that the readers get a chance to meet you and know a little bit about who you are. Well, thank you for inviting me here today. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Good. So tell us a little bit about why you're running for city controller and, uh, and your background so that people have an idea of who the guy is on the ballot. Okay. Well, uh, I'm a CPA. I've got 40 years of financial management in, uh, in, in financial consulting experience. I've uh, been a CPA for 38 years, so with my background, I feel like I'm uniquely qualified to be the city controller, and the city needs some help with its finances right now. The, the incumbent, Ron Green, is a, um, he's a defense lawyer and has no financial background at all. So I feel like uh, the city needs a CPA, a city controller. Now, why is that? The, is the city in, in dire financial condition? I've heard, heard people say that, that it is. And well, we're getting close if, if we're not there already. Our pension funds are very stressed. Uh, the city owes uh, $1.6 billion in pension-related debt. Mm -hmm. We have another billion dollars of outstanding obligations related to post-retirement benefits, m medical benefits for our retirees. Mm -hmm. And uh, our, our, uh, the, the drainage fund that the city has uh, for drainage and street repair that was initiated three years ago is not funded uh, with as many dollars as, as it was supposed to be. So our streets are showing a lot of stress, and I think people can see some of the financial stress that the city has by the condition of our streets. Now, in an article that we wrote on Texas GOP Vote, we compared Houston to Detroit because right. of the, you know, Detroit filed bankruptcy. Clearly, we're not Detroit at this point, but we could be. Well, we could be. Uh, you have to remember, uh, Detroit has uh, similar operating losses over the last 10 years. Houston's had 2.5. Detroit was slightly under that. But Detroit has 700,000 people. Houston's got 2.2 million people. If we don't start addressing some of these financial problems that the city has, and we can fix them, but if we don't start now, we can become Detroit by, by just ignoring the problem. One of my counterparts on Texas GOP vote wrote an article about Detroit one time and called, coined the phrase supermassive blue hole in regards to what happens to a city government under decades mm -hmm. of liberal Democrat control and spending problems. Fortunately in Texas, because of strong Republican leadership, we have a much better economy and cash flow in the city of Houston than, than uh, right. Detroit. For, well, for what, one, of the, one of the things about Detroit is that uh, people have been moving out. They had 2 million people, now they've got 700,000. The city of Houston, while it's not losing population, it did for a while, uh, we're back to about where we were about 10 years ago. So we've got 2.2 million people. Well, we've got a lot of tax base in the city, and we've got a lot of industries here that Detroit didn't have. So I think, I think our problems are solvable. Houston's got a great future, and we're in a growing economy. So we just need to sit down, and, and you need a financial manager that can show people what's going on and tell the truth about what the city finances are so that our city leaders, our mayor, our council, business leaders can, uh, can make the right decisions. Now, when I first met, met you and your family over at um, one of the events that you hosted when you first started this campaign, your daughter told me that you are a solid Republican, much to her chagrin right. as she's not. But, <laughs> but, uh, but tell us about your, your Republican background and why that's well, important. Well, I've, I voted in uh, every Republican primary that, that I can remember since I got out of college. Um, and I've worked uh, a little bit for some Republican candidates for Congress uh, here in Houston. But, uh, but other than that, I, I haven't been involved in politics at all. Um, so I'm not a career politician, I'm a businessman, mm -hmm. and my opponent is, uh, he's a career politician. So I think by coming out of the private sector with some, you know, very minor amount of, of political experience, almost none, uh, I, think, I think I come with, with an open mind mm -hmm. and, and can work with a lot of different people. Your opponent has had several years now to address these issues and, and really hasn't to tackle them, neither is Mayor Parker. They, they seem to just kind of kick the football down right. the road a little bit. Um, what in your background makes you qualified to come in and, and actually tackle these problems and deal with some of the issues facing Houston? Well, I've, you know, I've been in the private sector for, like I said, 40 years. And uh, uh, one of my initial jobs was working for a family-owned company that had a lot of financial problems, and, and we worked those out. Mm -hmm. And I've been through all the ups and downs of the Houston economy, but I've got a very broad base of, of contacts in the private sector 
I was president of Houston CPA Society. There are 8,000 CPAs that I know how to reach out to uh, in the city of Houston, and I've got lots of other business contacts that can help us uh, address these problems. My opponent, like I said, does not have a financial background. So when he comes in, although he may be trying to solve some of these problems, he just doesn't have the background and experience that I do. I think in the past decade or so, people have used the city controller's office as a stepping stone to work their way right. up to other things. It'd be very nice to have somebody in there that actually is qualified to do the job and wants to do the job yes. in and of itself. Now, early voting starts when? October 21st, mm -hmm. and it goes for the two weeks prior to the election, okay. and the election's on November 5th, Tuesday, mm -hmm. November 5th. And so we want to encourage everyone to get out and vote yes. early and, yes. uh, and get involved in this campaign. City elections always have a very small turnout traditionally, and for conservatives who have an opportunity now to step forward and really take control of the city government and put it back on sound footing, that gives us a tremendous advantage because a, a group of people can come in and really make a difference in the poll. Yeah. Bill, I hope you'll come back and talk okay. to us again at Texas GOP Vote, and uh, we'll drill down you, into Bob. some other issues facing the city of Houston. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Thanks.